That is the best explanation of cryptocurrency I've ever heard in my life. These things have existed in the political science world at universities and things, but no one ever adopts them and puts them into the governing systems because the cadence of change of a government is, is by years and decades or centuries. Usually it takes a war and you get conquered and then you build a new political system or an economic collapse and then you build a new political system. But in the cryptocurrency space, you have 1.4 million cryptocurrencies that have been issued since 2010. And a lot of them are starting to get on-chain governance, which means they're building their own voting systems, which means we, in real time, at a scale of millions to tens of millions to hundreds of millions of people, get to test an entire economic system, an entire social system, an entire political system. And it's adversarial. You get people trying to break it and destroy it. And so if there's a bug or flaw in it, it's exploited and the system collapses. So the minute someone comes up with a good system, everybody else steals that, and then they use that as a standard. And then you reset in the standard and reset. Use that as standard, reset. It's, it's so extraordinary and it's so magical because you're literally rewriting the fabric of society you know, as you do these things. And then eventually the regular world is like, boy, there's a lot of value that these guys are creating.